but when you think about social media and impact investing in, in, in socially responsible investing, what impact do you see? I mean, is social media going to be, I mean, is that a driver to results for in, uh, social investing you think these days or, or what impact does it have or if none at all, right? I think that social media, which I completely agree with you, Matt, is very much an echo chamber and I think can be also very poisonous to say for many, many people. Um, what I think it is, is to me, it's another source of information. You know, I, I have some schooling in sort of like the Chicago School of Pharma French models. And so I believe very much in efficient markets. Um, the twist on efficient markets is that they take the information, this is classic economic theory, they take the information of all market participants. And when you talk to people from social justice movements and people on Twitter, they're not necessarily market participants. And there's not a way right now in economic models to include information from non-market participants. And just because they're not market participants doesn't mean that publicly traded companies are not having a huge impact on their lives. They're probably working at publicly traded companies. They're buying products from publicly traded companies. They live in states where publicly traded companies are lobbying huge impact. And so they actually have a lot to say, these non-market participants, about publicly traded companies. Um, let me give you an example. Tesla is a really interesting company on multiple levels, and it's headquartered here in California, not too far from where I am. Um, Tesla is kind of a darling of many ESG SRI firms and, and funds that are climate-based. And we have very strong climate ski screens in my products. Um, we also have screens around workers' rights and gender justice. And Tesla has some really, really, really terrible, some of the worst in the tech industry, and even strangely enough in the manufacturing industry, really terrible policies around gender justice, really terrible policies around racial justice. And we, if you just use one level of screening, if you're just doing climate screening, you probably just want to invest in Tesla. But we do climate screening and we do gender screening and we do racial screening. And so Tesla didn't pass those other levels of screening. And when you look at the stories on the internet about Tesla and you look at the stories that on Twitter, which Elon Musk loves Twitter, um, about Tesla, the story about how Tesla is such a great company that does so much for climate, it starts to fray around the edges because you see how, yeah, it might be doing amazing on climate, but it's not actually that much an amazing company. And it actually has some policies that will probably get in the way of it being successful. And so we were never invested in Tesla. And Tesla has had some real problems this year, this calendar year. And I am glad that we never invested in it. And that's the kind of thing that our screening, this, this um, multi-level, multifaceted, interconnected screening can allow us to screen out. 